Welcome back, everybody, to the Little Less Fear podcast. Today, I'm really excited to introduce Daniel Reyes. Daniel Reyes, thank you to, for being on the Little Less Fear podcast. I have a feeling we might be related somehow. <laughs> Probably. A long lost cousin. Yeah. How's it going, Daniel? Yeah, orale. Yeah, orale. <laughs> I find, no, I, get I find no coincidence, Daniel, that you're fasting and I'm also doing this fasting diet. Like we're connecting for a deep, good reason. I'm really excited to talk about this because I haven't, yeah. you know, out of the almost 90 episodes that I've had, I haven't really talked about um, fasting. I've had diets and I've had weight loss, but not actually fasting. And I think it's very important that people get educated in this because it's saving people's lives. It's mm-hmm. healing diseases. And it's it's encouraging vitality and longevity. So it has I'm just saved read, my life, man. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna read a quick just so that our audience, our viewers, and our watchers know a little bit about you. Um, you were born out of equal parts of frustration, depression, and hope. Doctors told you that you only had uh, that you had five years to lose weight, or that could be it. Mm-hmm. You tried everything, and nothing worked long term. And then you heard about intermittent fasting. That made good process, especially at the start. However, you felt like you could be doing better. And uh, we want to know what that means. So welcome to the show. And let's yeah. let's talk about fasting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, like like it said in the in that uh, introduction you, you read, thank you so much. Um, absolutely. You know, almost five years ago, I, I nearly died, man. Like I was in what Damn. they call an end of life room, a hospice room. Are you kidding me? Damn. Yeah, yeah. They found blood How clots. How old were you when they told you that? uh mid 30s what in the world so what yeah. wow yeah well, you look incredible i can never i yeah. would never ever think you were in your deathbed five years ago whoa yeah it was nuts man um but i mean even before that like i'd always struggled with my weight and i was born with a heart condition so like my my heart um the valves in your heart are supposed to be x-shaped mine were born parallel wow it's called a transposition of the greater valves so like it's a thing you can live with. Like I, I had open heart surgery at 16 months. It's oh, it's a lo- millions of people have it. It's just a thing. Okay. Um, nowadays it's not really a big issue. Like if if a baby's born with it, it's it's minor. But it, in the 80s when I was born, it, it it was a bigger deal. So um, anyways, so they I had blood clots. It was terrible. Um, I was told that. Uh, blood clots in your lungs, there's a 20% chance of survival. And I had multiple. Damn. Yeah. So like end of life was, was legit. And, um, and, you know, thank God I, I, I made it through that. There was, there was all sorts of complications throughout the healing process. Like at one point I had internal bleeding. Uh, another point I went into heart failure. Uh, another point, my kidneys started shutting down. Like everything and anything terrible that could have happened happened. It was happening. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It was messed up. So at the end of it, they told me, look, uh, if you want to live, you got five years and you got to lose weight. Good luck. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Like, figure it out. So um, so I freaked and I and I did every possible thing you could think of. Like, you name the diet, I tried it. And the frustrating thing is to some extent, they all work for a little bit right? Maybe two, three months, then your body gets used to it. And then, and then you plateau. Right. And then eventually you start regaining weight and then you get upset and then you eat and then it's bad. So like that, that was the cycle. I mean, that was the cycle my whole life, but more intensely when I had a five-year clock over my head. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So, uh, eventually I even looked at weight loss surgery and, and the whole idea of just ripping myself open to, to completely rearrange my insides. I wouldn't eat seems so extreme, but I was that desperate. Right. Sure. Cause like, I want to live. live. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and they, they put me on this program. Uh, according to them, the, the statistics said that on a three to five year timeline, weight loss surgery is only 30% successful Jeez. on a 10 year timeline. It's only 10% successful. Damn, so, I did not know that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it sucks, right? Yeah. You're, you're sure. really, the odds are against you. On top of that, most insurances do not cover it. So it is literally tens and tens of thousands of dollars to go do that yeah. out of pocket. Sheesh. Yeah. So, so then what happened? Were you like, you know what? Uh, how did you discover fasting when, um, how did that come about? Yeah. So, um, so 
when I was doing the weight loss surgery or looking into it, they put me on a liquid diet, right? Mm -hmm. And the liquid diet, um, they said I was going to lose 40 pounds in a month, only drinking liquids. And that was daunting to me because going from food to only liquids, but I did it and I went in and I got weighed in and they were very upset because I had only lost 20 pounds. Wow, and they said, still really I had cheap. that's still excellent though. Yeah. But you know, it wasn't what they wanted. Okay. So, so they were pretty mad about me. And during that time I had been following weight loss accounts on like Instagram and YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, people would had weight loss surgery as motivation. But, you know, I like to say the algorithm is tricky, right? So you follow <laughs> one type, it shows you another. Yeah. And so it started popping up people who had lost weight with intermittent fasting. Oh. And my, my background is, is uh, journalism. I did TV news for about 10 years. Okay. I pick up on patterns. And I noticed those who had weight loss surgery, they were active and happy for about a year and a half. They had all their pictures and thumbs up and all that. But then after about a year and a half, a lot of those started not posting as much. And right? that's kind of when you realized, oh, man, they probably fell back. Right. Whereas the intermittent fasting, a lot of them was consistent. Yeah. And living their life. So true. Now, the trade-off was those who did the weight loss surgery, the first two, three months, they lost a lot more weight in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But then it, that rate dropped. Whereas the intermittent fasting, it was consistent. And they stuck to it. Mm -hmm. So being that I still had at that point, two years left on my clock. I, yeah, two years, that's it. And I, I thought a lot of stress to live with too, to like have that is. dark cloud over you every time. Yeah. And, and, uh, I thought, okay, look, I can do this surgery. I know I can do it, but I've got two years. Let me try this. Let me at least give it a month. See what happens at the very least. And I did it and, and it worked and I lost 35 pounds in a month compared to doing what I was. Wow. To. Yeah. So what, when you lost those, those 35 pounds in one month, which is incredible fasting, what, what was, what was required of fasting? What did you do? So I, you know, uh, like I said, I do my research, right. Cause news, that's my background. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I looked into it and I looked at, there's all sorts of different ways to not eat all sorts yeah. of different like patterns right. and everything. So I started with 16, eight, cause that seemed like the most traditional for, and, for people that are listening to, uh, to this for the first time. Do you mind explaining what you mean by 16, eight? Yeah. So that means a, a 16 hour fast with an eight hour eating window. And that's not eight hours of continuous eating like a buffet, but that in those eight hours, you have an opportunity to eat. So maybe in those eight hours, it's two meals and a snack, right? Okay. So it doesn't have to be like, 1500 calories or 2000 calories within that amount of time, as long as you eat something. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So, so I started there and that was extremely comfortable very quickly within a few days. Like it wasn't an issue. And when you and, were fasting, Daniel, what did, was it just water or did you have like teas and coffees and uh, like other things to drink and, and eat? Yeah, and, I would have like, like water. I would have water. I, I did, um, you know, originally I would do like, uh, cause I, I'm really sensitive with my tongue. Like I burn my tongue way too easily. So I, I do cold brews or cold teas, but, um, I would do cold brew with some, uh, unsweetened almond milk and I would put a little bit of stevia in it. Okay. Uh, you know, and that was, that was my thing. Um, I have since found out that stevia is probably not the best thing to put in there. So, yeah. so now I avoid it, but okay. at the time that's what I was doing. Okay. Um, and I would have my coffee, I would have my water, I would have my tea. Uh, when I did eat, I, I ate, I tried to eat uh, non-processed foods, organic, yes. right? Um, mainly plant-based, but I would do some meat here and there. Um, and, and it was fine. And I did great. And, and I lost all that weight. And then um, I went from 16.8 to pretty quickly there, I went down to about a 20 and 4. So 20 hours. 16.8 for a whole month? No, I did it for like a week. And, and then, then you in increased the amount of the time of, of fasting. Okay. Yeah. Cause I felt comfortable. Like by the time it, my windows opened, I wasn't hungry. And I was like, well, if I'm not hungry, I shouldn't force it. True. Right. Right. So I mean, that's the whole point. Yes. So yeah. And I it, probably within two weeks, I got down to one meal a day. Damn. Yeah. And, and it was amazing how comfortable that got pretty quick. 
you know um granted i did have a lot of motivation with the whole clock over my head so there is that right you know um but it worked man and and i have not looked back since uh when when i looked at the weight loss surgery they told me if i did the surgery i would be lucky to lose 100 pounds in a year you know i've lost 180 in a year what in the world yeah (laughs) i mean i still got more to go but i'm doing it you know and it's you look fantastic by the way you look hella young too yeah when you're talking about the 80s earlier i was like what in the world you look like you're like you're barely like in your like 32 or something wow yeah yeah i i I get that a lot yeah so then um so how long have you been on this diet now two years no just over a year a little over a year okay great and do you even call it a diet i know some people uh, they hate that word i personally don't like that word either i kind of just you know it's kind of just like a new a new way of living i mean how do what do you call it yeah i mean it's definitely a different lifestyle yeah, yeah. lifestyle uh-huh. yeah, right. yeah i mean do i fast every day no because i have my eating windows um a couple weeks ago i went out to chicago with some friends for a vacation you know just a, a long trip did i fast during this time no <laughs> having fun with my friends we're gonna go right, out, right, pizza right, right, and right. Hang out you know gotta live yeah but totally. you know but i also knew in the back of my head when i get back home we're going back to a fast so enjoy it while you can and and i did and it was great so what did your doctor say when you finally it's it's to me it's also like why aren't doctors talking about fasting more often to their patients i don't understand this you know it's like a, it just it's it still feels like it's the people social media that's pushing this stuff because doctors aren't pushing it and and i don't understand why they're not you know so I have a, I have a whole team of doctors because of all the ailments that I've had. Right. So like, yeah. I regularly visit with a cardiologist. I regularly visit with a hematologist, a primary care doctor. All these people are all sure. in my life. Sure. Um, you know, the, the entire five years I would go back and forth trying different diets. Right. So in the last two cardiologist visits, uh, the most recent one was just maybe three months ago, but in the last two, my weight, when I went to visit him, was only like a 10 pound difference. Mm -hmm. Right. So I can pretty clearly say that what I'm about to tell you is more about the fasting than the meds I was on. Right. Yeah. Because I've been on meds the entire time, but to only have a 10 pound difference, especially being as heavy as I was, you know, it's, it's really minute, but the, the previous time before the fasting, my heart was an EF of what, EF is how they measure like the heart functionality. Okay. Okay. Um, the average person is in the seventies. An Olympian is like 85. Mm-hmm. Nobody's at a hundred. Your body doesn't work that way. Okay. Uh, anything below 70 is considered heart failure. And then the lower it is, the worse the heart failure is. Right. Wow. So I was in, a, in the forties. Oh, damn. Not, that, that time. Right. Damn. Not, not horrific. Because that's still considered, he's alive, but, it, you know, not good. Yeah. Right. This last time I went, which was just two, three months ago, my EF was 77. Whoa, high five, man. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Wow. So you are yeah. 32 again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. So, so big, big difference. You know, uh, it was at the weight loss, was it the fasting? It's a little bit of both, probably realistically. Sure, of course. You know? But but it's great to be there. Now, my my hematologist, I, I have seen him. Every time I see him, uh as, up until the fasting, it would I would ask him, is there any chance at some point I'll get off these blood thinners? And every time it was no, you're gonna be on the your rest of your life, but we gotta just manage this and be okay. So I see him every six months. So the first time in the last two visits, I had started fasting maybe two months before, right? And only two months of fasting. I do blood work and he comes in and he goes, your blood tests are perfect. (laughs) And I was like, no, no, no. You mean for me, right? Like with all, all the stuff I've got going on that it's looking good. He's like, no, it's perfect. No more blood thinning. Well, still on them. Okay. Because that's only one test, right? He says, we need to see, okay. we need to see uh, a good measure. This last time I just saw him, which was again, maybe two, three months ago as well. Um, he comes in, he goes, yeah, they're perfect still. And I gasped him that, am I off the blood thinners? Am I good? He's like, 
look, you're doing really great. I'm very happy about this. I want you to get down lower weight wise. If you can do that and we can keep getting these good results, then we can talk about it. He's like, but, but there's light at the end of the tunnel at this point. Oh yeah. I can see it too. Yeah. Wow. So what's your goal? I mean, you've already lost 180. Do you have a weight goal or you just want to just keep going until you I want to just keep going. Uh, you know, for my height, uh, for a man, the ideal weight is between 130 and 150. Mm -hmm. I'm only like five, five. Mm -hmm. So that that's tiny to me. (laughs) That's like really tiny. So I, I don't, I don't know if I'd get that, that far. Also, I do like working out and lifting weights. So like muscle kind of changes that a little bit. So I don't, I don't have a hard number, but I, I want to keep going, you know? Good for you. Yeah. Dang, Daniel. That's incredible. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, I want to know, um, we were briefly talking before we recorded, um, we were recording about your idea behind fasting to mimic ancient eating patterns. Can you yeah, talk a little yeah, bit yeah. about that? Just so that people get this understanding on how it even came to be or why it works. Yeah. So, so, um, the whole point about fasting is to mimic what like cavemen and, and ancient people did. Right. They didn't go down to Seven Eleven and go pick up a bagel or whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uber eats some food. Yeah. Cheetos, Snickers, yeah. ice cream. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, they, they didn't have those opportunities. They, you were hungry. You got to go out there. You got to go, you know, take down an animal or find some food in the forest. Like, right. you know, pick those berries up. Yeah. 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 Go, go find a fruit tree, something. Right. And so it seemed weird to me that even with fasting and mimicking by, by reducing your eating opportunity, it's still set times, right? It's still like, Oh, my window opens at 10. I'm going to eat at 10. Right. That's not what cavemen did. (laughs) Right. They didn't even have a watch. It's not like they're looking at their watch or their pocket watch and being like, yeah. Yeah. So I thought there had to be a random element to it. Right. Sure. Because they were spontaneous about eating. They were opportunistic. They weren't scheduled. So I developed uh, these things, fasting dice. Oh, cool. And you roll them. And one side has your eating windows. One has your feeding windows. And you roll them and it changes them up as often as you want. So like, let's say if I roll right now, right? Yeah. So I got a 12-hour eating window. Mm -hmm. So And then I didn't even look at what this one says an 18 hour fasting window. What the heck? You need to write a book about this. What a great idea. Yeah. Well, I filed the patent. So like nobody makes these other than me. So you got to do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But you can just roll them and and change it up. You know, Uh, I have found it it does a lot of different things. One, it's kind of cool because you finish that fast, you have a sense of accomplishment, right? And so if you keep it up, you're going to build up your confidence, not only in your fasting, but what you're doing. So that helps. You'll yeah. see the weight loss that helps, right? Also on the dice, there's one side that says cheat because you got to reward yourself from time to time, right? Because sure. <laughs> my idea is like caveman every now and then might come across a fruit tree or might come across a berry bush or, right. you know, a honeycomb, something, yes. right? So <laughs> they had their cheats, right? So every now and then, yeah, you know, you can get a cheesecake. You can get a, you know, whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, that's, I've never seen, well, how creative that is. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I thought it was a cool idea, you know. And Has I anybody else followed that idea? Like, have you no, to any no, of your buddies I, or whatever? No, like I was really surprised. I looked online to see if like, because I wanted to change up my windows. That was the initial uh, start of this, and there was nothing online like this. Like, I looked for like something like a tumbler or spinning wheels or something. Yeah. Nothing. And then you know, um, I like to play cards with my friends. I was like, well, you got to roll the dice. I was like, oh, that's a way to do it. And, right. Yeah, fasting dice was born. Do you know your blood type? Would you happen to know your blood type? Yeah, O positive. O positive. Okay. Because I don't know if you know, but I did. I read that whole book about blood types and exercise, you know, the different types of, of food that's best for you and stuff. And I and sure enough, for A blood type, it says that I'm, I'm an A blood type. And it says that I I will, um, I guess you could say that I will, what's the word I'm looking for? The best food for me is a is a veg, vegetable, veggie, ve- veggie and pescatarian based diet, which of course I love my ceviche. You know, I can't say no to that. So oh, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, for sure. But but some, you know what? It, it, some of those things actually did make sense to me because whenever I do eat meat, like it constipates me or it's just harder for me to have a bowel movement. But if I'm just all fruits and vegetables and occasionally maybe some chicken, 
Mm-hmm. I'm good, you know, but the yeah. fasting for me has definitely been a game changer. Yeah. And there's a lot of science behind it. Like um, the, the doctor who won the Nobel prize in 2016, he proved the, uh, the benefits of, of autophagy and autophagy is reached by fasting. Like if you fast for more than 24 hours, you hit autophagy. And like he showed all these benefits. It's honestly like, it sounds like a scam when you listen to it, but fasting is free. Like who's go- like, mm-hmm. nobody's making money off you. So it's not a scam, right. but it's like, it, it'll help with like, uh, you know, of course, being overweight, but it'll help with like heart disease and Parkinson's and dementia and cancers and arthritis and like just all these things. There's all sorts of gut stuff. So like you're talking about, like yeah. it can help reset your gut. I mean, I it's done that for me. Like for a while there, I had a hard time with with hot foods, especially after coming out of the hospital. I couldn't eat spicy foods that I love. Yeah. And, you know, doing the fasting. I can do them again now. It's great. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, it's true. Yep, yeah, definitely. So much research on that. It boosts your immune system. It helps your cells regenerate. All of your cells regenerate. And um, it also gives you more energy. It's interesting because I've had people ask me, like, do you feel like you have less energy? Or are you fatigued? I'm like, no, because, you know, I'm drinking water or I have some supplements or I'll have a vegetable smoothie or whatever. But it's just not like a full on meal. And it's yeah. and it keeps me going, actually. And yeah. I'm even able to exercise when I'm fasting. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like, you know, I don't eat for days on end sometimes. And I still go to the gym. I lift weights. It's not an issue. Yeah, how incredible. What about your sleep? Has it affected your sleep? How was your sleep before versus now? I, I've always had a hard time sleeping. Mm-hmm. It's just a, a thing, you know, I have a hard time shutting off my brain. Um, but I have done meditation and that really helps with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the fasting, though, like the longer I go, if I go days, uh, I do notice I don't sleep as much, but I'm not tired. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll sleep, you know, I'll go from like eight to, to six hours to maybe on a fast, you know, if it's two, three days, four days in, I might sleep like three or four hours, but I'm fine. I'm wow. not dragging. Yeah. It's weird. Um, yeah. And you know what? That probably has a lot to do with our bio- biologically, the way we are as humans, the way we we're talking about like our an- ancient times, because it was like back then too. Like if it was time to hunt and you heard animals like or whatever, it was time to hunt. You, you had to get your buddies up. Man, hey, man, it's time to yeah. hunt. You know, like yeah. 3 a.m. We didn't get the full sleep. Let's go do it. So it yeah, kind of be ready sense. to go. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's this is really amazing. Seriously, yeah. this is great. Do, do you have any other uh, support system? Is anybody else fasting with you? No, I, I pretty much do it by myself. I mean, my, my family and friends have been supportive of me. You know, I mean, I did, especially in the beginning, have to have hard talks about like, look, if I'm fasting, please don't offer me stuff because I don't, yeah. you know, willpower is hard, you know? Right, right. Um, but, and there was a couple of times like, please, you get, you got to not offer me those things at this time, you know? Um. You know, social events can be tough sometimes because, you know, maybe I'm in a little of a fast and there's an event going on and, you know, I just can't partake in that way. Like I can be there at the event, but I can't eat the food, you know? Yeah, especially during the holidays, man. That's <laughs> so tough. It's like sweets here, sweets there. It's like big turkey well, here. And it... Yeah, for situations like that, like I have to plan it out, right? I have to really? plan out where I am going to eat. Right. You know, that's true. You got to plan ahead. Yeah. Well, I feel definitely motivated to keep the fasting that I'm doing. And I'm glad I, I have a fasting buddy that's probably related to me. Daniel Reyes, everybody, yeah. a fasting yeah. champion here. Um, really, really nice to meet you. Thanks for being yeah, on the nice podcast. How can our so, how can our viewers, watchers, and our listeners find you? Yeah, so I've got my website, fastingdice.com. Uh, it's also got all links to my social medias, and, and they're all right there. Um, you know, I've got the dice there. I also have a free guide that handles like the emotional aspects of, of weight loss. Wow. Like, that's incredible. Thank you. Yeah. And so like people just put in their email address, it'll get emailed to you immediately. And it's that completely free guide. It's some of the tips I've used that's helped me lose so much weight. Like one of the wins real quick, that's in the guide. Uh, I found out I was a very emotional eater right through the fasting. Yeah. Most like, people are. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the tips in the guide is keep a notebook around with you. And when you're triggered to eat, write down what the thing is that caused you to want to eat how you think food is going to help the situation you'll quickly realize it's not going to right and then what you could actually do to fix the situation and by just writing that out you'll process through those emotions and more often than not you're not going to be hungry anymore 
That's incredible. Fastingdice.com. I love it. And <laughs> now I know where you got that idea, too. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on Little Less Fear Podcast and for sharing your incredible journey. May all the yeah. holy beans keep blessing you, and I wish you an incredible week, and let's stay in touch. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Okay.